Manners and respect, give thanks and praise for life, health and strength, mindset. I just start with there. Yes, we in the month of February and we in the 10th day so far. Seeing and over the years, you know, I've been upon earth here. Um, we get to realize that February is classified as black history month and we know that you know as a people our history our story is vast beyond one month one month could not contain our story you know what i mean over the over the, the period of time that we have been here and earth, I mean, I talk about African people, black people. We have been here from creation. So, February being as Black History Month, and I know this is mostly in South and Central America, the Caribbean, certain places within Africa to said way. Here in the UK, well, UK is a different thing altogether because October is the month that them use for black black history month here in 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 the uk and as me i say as black people as african people our story our history is beyond one month one month cannot tell our story zin it cannot and most of what we see today regarding black history when it comes to this time of the year, it's mostly slavery, slavery stuff, you know. European putting us in slavery, that is what we see. And, you know, that is not our story. That is just a big interruption of our story. Zane, slavery has, was never a part of our story. Zane, it, it, it is just a big interruption. You know what I mean? Invaders coming into our land. Invaders. Rape, pillage, kill. And they did the same when they transported us on the Western Hemisphere. Rape, kill, pillage, burn, hang, lynch. Name it. And that that is only a part of what went on Zane, in the history of African people but our history is bigger than that Zane and more and the youths them for know this Zane, so I'm going to drop a little video now that they are too long with the item Zane, I'm going to drop a video and I hope the item find the video very um, interesting and informative Zane Talk to me in the comment section. Let me let me know what the item think about you know our story is beyond one month. It cannot be told in one month. You know what I mean? As one virgin say, our 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 um our story began from January to December. If you really want to talk about Black History Month. Is from January to December. Zane, that is how vast our history is. Mindset. Yeah, them talk to me in the comment section. Do remember we have um the t-shirts online where the item can support. As I say, it's for just cause Zane for the deaf and blind youths them in Cape Coast, Ghana. Please support the cars. The youths them need the support. Mindset. Rastafari. Peace and love. And herbal. In D.C. And we are the international programming arm for the Ronald Reagan building. Well, a lovely and warm welcome. It's great to see you all. And uh, my name's Reverend Mark Farr. First of all, I also want to pay tribute to the Reagan building, which is just a fantastic place right in the middle of town. And so to the main business of tonight, I want, before she comes up to the stage, I just want to introduce you to Dr. Thelma, um, Ambassador Dr. Thelma Philip Brown, uh, who is the Ambassador for 
for St. Kitts and Nevis. And um, she is a woman of, I am now know, of many talents, of sporting talents and medical and so forth, and as, as well as being the ambassador. So you're going to hear, a, I guess, a story of quite some interest. At least it was really wonderful to hear about her story. Thank you, Mark. Well, first of all, let me thank the Sustained Dialogue series for inviting me, and let me thank those of you for coming out, particularly my fellow ambassadors for supporting me. So say a bit about the history, because it's very fascinating. <laughs> okay, so it, it is um, the smallest nation in the Western Hemisphere, and you know, it is surreal to be here representing the smallest nation in the Western Hemisphere, sitting in the most powerful nation in the hemisphere and indeed the world, talking about our connection, the quadrangular connection between Europe, this small, two small islands, the US, and the African continent. It is surreal. And to be doing it at the Sustained Dialogue Institute. And in, pre in preparation, I looked at your, your website and I saw, listen deeply, because you may hear something that may change your life. And that struck me because in an era where we don't listen to each other, it is so important. So you're here for such a time as this. So. Those, are, those are fantastic stories, and it helps to illustrate a country. You know, you see it in those pictures, and it almost looks like a tourist destination. You know mm -hmm. what it is, I'm sure. I want to hear about that too. But there's, so, like so many other countries, it has these histories, these deep narratives of, right. you know, of people coming to fruition and right. doing amazing right. things, and it's great uh, to hear. Yes, and I mean, and the thing is, it at the root of all of that is the African slave Serious. trade. Yeah, of slavery. You know, and, and today I was reflecting today because actually, you know, they've been celebrating the memori memorializing the Holocaust, mm. um, and which they should. Um, we should talk about these things so that we never get back there. Oh, yeah. But the African slave trade, and there are ways to look about it. There's an African uh, proverb that says, until the lion tells its tale, the story of the hunt will always be the hunters. Mm -hmm. And so there's another aspect to that trade. Um, you know, I, I mentioned that some people believe that one of the reasons that Hamilton didn't talk more about um, the country <coughs> is because of the slave trade. And it was a vicious, in fact, my mother there was a Huggins um, from Nevis, and the Huggins estate in Nevis has the record for the most lashes given to slaves, 292 to a female and 365 oh. to a male. They would have been dead by the time they got to that. And so, but for me, when I look at it and say, the fact that I'm here, the fact that we are here, is a story of amazing grace. A story of a survival of a remnant. Right, right. Someone had to decide in spite of, I'm going to live another day. That's inspirational. You know, in spite of what I'm going to persevere, this too shall pass. Right. You, you know, and that is, that is how I look at it, a story of amazing grace. Because imagine, so the conservative estimate is that 12 million slaves left Africa, left the coast of Africa, and that five or six million reached the Americas. Latin America and the Caribbean, because in fact, Nevis too, Nevis was where a lot of the slaves were held and then they were shipped off to different places, including the Americas, which means about half of them would have perished or jumped over, committed suicide before they got here. According to John Newton, in the islands, about up to two thirds of them died within the first five years because of the treatment, disease, and what, what have you. And very rarely did a slave live beyond nine years. And that's why in the Caribbean, they were replenished all, all the time. So what I'm saying, for us to be still here, it 
has to be about survival of a remnant, the kind of spirit that you see in someone like Kobe Bryant today, you know, who would leave everything on the court, you know, and, and so that is how I look at it, not, not to get bitter about it, but, but I think the story needs to be told, because more than that, when they said 12 million left the coast, I have been, I don't know if any of you have been to Ghana or been to the coast. I've been to the Elmina castles um, this year earlier. I couldn't talk about it for a month. And then when I was able to talk, I, I'd look and see the wonder of just surviving. Because half of them who reached the coast would have died. So you've gone from 12 million to 24 million. And we know on the way to the coast, another half would have died or in the battles. So that's really 48 million. And when, when I did research, the population of Africa between 1600 and 1800 stayed about the same, about 110 to 114 million. The population of Asia and Europe almost doubled. So we, you know how we black people are prolific. <laughs> so, so you know that. So, so I'm just saying, just saying that to say the sheer numbers and to say, so it's not just about survival, but about a capacity to forgive as well. That's in all of us, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? And, and so that is what I, I, I like to take away from that. Blessed love, manners and respect, give thanks and praise for life. This video is for a just cause and I would love the item strength and support. We have some t-shirt online, the mindset t-shirt that the item can go out there and purchase. Basically this t-shirt is in aid of um, the Cape Coast School for Deaf and Blind Youth in Ghana. There is no drinkable water that I can see on the school grounds and the ones them who are blind have to travel a little distance outside of the school ground to get the water. Now we want to bring the water inside the school ground in the bathroom where it's supposed to be. So when you purchase a t-shirt, all these proceedings go to um, facilitating for drinkable water in the bathroom so they don't have to travel out. So we want your strength and support, we're gonna drop the link and the video. Please follow the link, purchase a t-shirt, it's going towards a just cause. Blessed love, look for the item, strength and support.